Welcome back everybody. This is Evil Minimi and today we're doing some more Sky Factory 2. Um so you might have noticed that in the upper left hand corner there is it is now day 33 and I know I said there were a lot of cuts and or at least there wouldn't be like cuts. The reason for that is simply because uh, I was having a lot of fun. Um, the only thing I did was really just build this cobblestone generator um, to get cobblestone. I also uh, leveled up some of my tools. Um, as you can see, this uh, pick uh, now has emerald, redstone, lapis, diamond, and moss. Uh, the emerald, redstone, lapis, diamond, and moss were all added by just leveling it up. You can see it says skill level godlike. Um, when you look on this one, I can hold shift for the XP. It says skill XP 387 out of 575. So every time you break a block with it, um, it bubbles up. Um, so you can see, and this is all compressed cobblestone. So there's actually nine cobblestone per block. This actually fills up this entire chest. Um, I've been making, I've been playing around with the chisel a little bit. Um, So stone chills, I got this level expert. Um, this levels up pretty quick, and it's actually funny because I don't add modifiers by itself. Uh, you can just see that I have seven available modifiers for this stone bound uh, chisel. And where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Uh, so we're just leaving that in there so that um, we can bring it in, uh, chisel some blocks away. Um, I've also been working on getting some wood, and I built this little platform out here because this is what we're going to be working on today. Um, maybe. I gotta get my book. A book. Let's see what my book says. Alright. Uh, build a cobblestone generator. Check. So, we've done everything so far. Welcome to the Stone Age. Now that you have a good source of blocks, it's time to expand, upgrade, and improve your island a bit. Make it dark from 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mobs and getting loot. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So real quick, I also learned a um, recipe for a bookshelf. So we want to get this as well. Put that away. Bookshelf. Uh, see if we can just put it right here. Oops. There we go. Mm, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. Alright, so let's do it right. Let's throw it down right here. Why not? Boom. Throw the book in there. Grab all these other books. Oh, it actually puts it in the slot where you click. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so we got a nice little bookshelf. So I'm kind of torn in between two different uh, mob spawners. Um, we can do the cheapo uh, mob spawner, uh, which is basically just a platform uh, let me see something okay they can spawn on that um, so yeah I'm torn between just like a normal platform that's just a straight one one wide platform that just goes across and I can just walk up and down killing mobs uh, or the ones that drop um, I think for the sake of uh, this, I'm just going to build the one, because uh, I think it's actually, um, I think it's actually a, uh, another quest to build like a better mob spawner, uh, so I think we're just going to do it this way, um, and just kind of deal. What I want to do is I'm going to build a huge rectangular platform. 
uh, on this level um, that way and then I'll go that way as well uh, so once I have that um, I will come back and hopefully uh, we'll have something cool built all right all right so we got our platform built um, yeah, how many spawning spaces do we get? I want one, two, three. Spawn one, two, three. We'll do one, two, three on the side of the left. So I'll start with this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty more. Twenty-one spawning spaces. What I need to do is I need to make sure I get. Uh, plenty of wood to finish this off uh, in one go because um, I don't want to have to come back and do this or you know, I don't want it to be like you know, night being all us and then we're screwed should be plenty. So let's run back over here. Oh, and I also unlocked um, a inventory slot. So it started off as 10, and so once you get 10, you can unlock one and it actually uses your levels, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. If I die... This is, um, I know in Skyblock I built, you know, the big little, uh, tower, uh, thing, uh, and I plan on building one of those, uh, in here as well, uh, the only problem with it is currently, um, is resources, really, uh, this is a little bit harder to get resources in. So that's one block high. That's two blocks high. This is three blocks high. And this is becoming nighttime very quickly. I don't want mobs spawning in here because I'm not really ready to fight them. I think what I'll do is I'll put some chests uh, in the area. I didn't have enough materials. I didn't actually count, uh, so it makes sense. Uh, oh, stone chisel upgraded. Stone chisel upgraded. All right. So let's get uh, some more. We'll go ahead and turn these into uh, those. I'm gonna go zombie spawn. And die. So let's get in here. Yeah, but anytime you uh, are like using a block and then it um, updates for whatever, like once you get done using that uh, said block, um, it puts this next stack in the inventory. It's supposed to like go into your inventory, uh, but it doesn't. Uh, it's super annoying. Alright, so that's three blocks tall. Cover this up. Boom, boom, boom. All right, and then we have to see what I mean. Oops. Make sure you don't use main miner over here, otherwise, we have whole gun. Here. All right. 
also move my microphone uh, as well. So hopefully it's um, okay. So you notice my this is not taking damage because it's reinforced level two. Uh, part of the upgrades that I got were uh, obsidian stone plates. And apparently, if um, you can get it all the way up to level ten, um, and then your tool becomes unbreakable, which is kind of nice. Um, so there should be no spawning. Right, so I just turned F7 on, turn it off. Nowhere for uh, stuff to spawn. However, now I do that. So every time I use it, there's a chance that it will and will not take durability. So now if I turn F7 on, all those should be red. Boom. Uh, which means mobs can spawn inside of there. So now it's time to do uh, start doing some leveling up with my sword. So let's get some chests going. Because um, there's going to be a lot of um, items and stuff that we get from this, or there should be, anyway, I hope so. I'm going to spend some time off camera leveling my sword up and getting those things. Uh, so you can see we already got two guys. I'm going to put that there, that there. Let's do... Uh, can't put that to the right. I'll just do... It's really not that big of a deal. Um, so I tried this out. But you can see I had zero XP. Now, if I just hit this guy, do I get XP? Yeah, eight. Boom. Enemy slayer. All those fireworks are going off inside there. Um, and this will also help me unlock some of these inventory slots, which I think will be really cool. So we'll just go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, spend some time grinding away, uh, leveling up my sword, um, which shouldn't take too long. Uh, hopefully I get some cool stuff uh, and attachments and stuff on it. Um, and once I do that, I will come back. Ooh, I'll come back. All right, so uh, we got our sword uh, leveled up a little bit. Uh, let me go show you guys what, what I've done to it. Mm, sword. So I actually really haven't done anything, um, but it's got the Moss 2 knockback lapis, um, all of it put on there uh, by itself. I could throw a diamond on there, uh, but I'm waiting to uh, do the final level up because we only have it at heroic. Um, it's almost leveled up again. I also went ahead and did this uh, because this is our kind of our next quest. Um, let's build a platform 25 blocks away from spawn uh, in order to get um, uh, passive mobs to spawn, uh, cows, pigs, and that kind of thing. I also did some of this uh, just to kind of get your opinion and kind of see what they look like. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this because we're going to have to change that mob spawner. So I think I'm going to go with this block. Um, I did do a bunch of resource gathering. I think I showed you guys most of this, uh, but I turned a bunch of the blocks into stone bricks, which then I'm going to chisel down into uh, these stone bricks, the fancy stone brick. Um, I think I got some more cooking up. Do Let's grab all this stuff real quick and go ahead and throw in this chest. And then what we're going to start doing. Um, or this chest rather is um, making tinkers constructs stuff. So let me grab book. Uh, so make a field of grass 25 blocks away from your base for spawning the animals. We've done that um, over there. Uh, build a second layer to your island below the level you started from. We're gonna wait on that. Uh, make obsidian with a stone barrel. We're gonna wait on that. Make Tinker's Construct Smeltery for processing ores. That's the one we're going to work on right now. Uh, so put that book away. Uh, so I went ahead and made up a bunch of gravel, sand, and clay. Uh, so the first thing we need to do in order to make the smeltery uh, is we need these seared bricks. Um, 
So actually, let's get my let's get my book back. Um, I think we might need this one and maybe this one. We'll get us the black one. Oh, hello, tree. So I think this actually maybe. Yep. So uh, sand, gravel, clay uh, will give us two. Uh, grout. Uh, we smelt the grout in to get one seared brick. Uh, we make those seared bricks into this. That's how you make the smeltery controller. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. I didn't get the mutant time. Uh, rebuild our books and whatnot. Okay. So, the first thing we have to do is make up our. And it really doesn't matter what order any of these are in. Um, it's a shapeless crafting. Uh, so make up our grout. Grout. Oh, that is grout. Grout. And then we're gonna smelt all of this down. So we're gonna throw this in here, this in here, this in here, and this in here. Alright. So as soon as that's done, uh, I'll be right back. We got all of our seared bricks so I think what I want to do is I'm gonna make this smeltery yeah right over here and I'm gonna move probably all my tinker stuff uh, over here um, so what I need so let's get um, do I have any do you, yeah go away for that stuff. Okay. And then we might have to uh, fence that off or something. Don't really know yet. Okay. So basically how this works is Okay. Man. Achievement earned. Alright. So what we need is this needs to be a 9x9 nine nine, uh, base Should bring this out one more, and then we put the first one here. Boom, two, three, two. we're at three by three, so a total of nine, like so. And then one, two, three. to do is we need to make up um, a smeltery controller so that's just like this we just need the one controller I actually made some glass too so I'm gonna need it and then um, we're gonna need the we're actually gonna need two drains so the way I want to do this so that means we're also gonna need two of the seared faucets in order to get it out of the drain Okay, um, and then I think we need to go like this, yep, for the seared tank. We're actually going to make a couple of those. Let's just go ahead and make two for now. So, we have two drains, controller, tank. Um, let's go ahead and make up some more of the bricks. And then I'll show you how this all works. Okay. So what we want to do is I'm going to put my uh, controller down here. Boom. And then my sear tank. 
boom, boom. Okay, and then this is just going to be a regular block. Boom, and that should start it all. Um, that's all I really need. And actually, I can actually get rid of. I can actually get rid of these two blocks. Let me do that real quick. And we'll put this here and this here. No. Okay, um, so now what we want to do is put one, one drain there, one drain there. And I know this isn't um, the best way to do this, but uh, it's kind of how I like to do it. We're just going to put this here. Oops. Alrighty. And then what we need is a casting table and a casting bin. No. Casting basin and then casting table. And I think that's it. So let's make two more uh, tanks and then turn the rest of these into bricks. And we'll build this up a little bit. Okay. And then I need uh, some ladders, which I don't have any. So I'll just go ahead and make some. Boom, boom, and these ladders are going to help me get up here to build some more. So tank, tank, and then... Ooh, I got the mute that time. Alright. What did I mess up? It's only a three by two. needs to be one of our drains with a faucet drain a faucet and then ladder ladder that there boom 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 and fill in this here tank is that all No worries. Uh, that should be really plenty uh, for what we're going to be doing. Um, so now what I need to do is get my bucket and fill this whole thing up with lava. Oops. A couple times. I think I have like five buckets, six buckets in here, something like that. And we'll move this um, as well, probably over here, so that I can uh, just continue to make. I might connect those two so I can get some more uh, cobblestone um, and just drop it straight into here. Okay, so that's done. So what I want to do right now is 
getting these compressed cobblestone and throwing them in here and see if that makes us up a bunch of uh, seared bricks. So let's see, oh, and then we need our casting table and our casting basin. Casting table, casting basin. One, two, three, four, five. So we're good. So we'll be able to reach out from here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to play around with the uh, dimensions of this. Um, this is almost done smelting, so let's see. They should turn this into a crap ton of uh, seared bricks or seared stone since each one of this is nine cobblestone and it'll probably stop some of them. I don't know why that wood was in there. Uh, da, 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 da. Boom. 29 blocks in one ingot. So that's a lot. That's good. Alright, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to smut all this up, build this up a little bit higher. Um, what I want to do real quick is just get an ingot so that we can make... Mm, that's what I didn't do yet. I need gold. So here's my gold. Let's do this real quick, I think. Do that. And then put this back. Oh, I can smell this. How much does this give me? Uh, actually, no. I want to smell this in, in here. In here. Oh. Wait for all this. Come on, come on, come on. So I'm going to smelt all that gold down and then I do need to make an ingot and I'll make that out of uh, iron because I have a lot of iron. Um, let me just, no we can't just put it in there. So we actually need to make it into the uh, gravel and then I'm going to see what this does. So I'm actually not 100% sure. That just melts it straight in. Okay, that works. Now what we need to do is come over here, put that in there, and then so we got ten ingots worth of gold. Pour this. Take the ingot back, and then we got our mold. So basically, what we can do now is just smelt this into uh, seared bricks and do this over and over and over until we have a bunch of them. So that's what I'm going to do off camera uh, so I can get all of the seared stone out of here uh, and then smelt up a bunch more of it. Um, I don't know how much I'll need um, but I want it, this probably won't be the only uh, smeltery that we do. So I'm going to continue to do this off camera and then um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Ciao, ciao.